Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Ro Jones, back on the ones and twos. <laughs> now, nah, y'all know that we have to start this off with that positive energy and them good vibes. I got some sage burning. And it's funny that I always do this. I'm, I'm very spiritual and I decided that I just wanted to, you know, do a video on candles and candle colors because I burn candles and, you know, I, I let my intentions be known and being that we all quarantine. What 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 else do we have to do but to manifest some stuff and you know to do some things that's gonna add some more into our lives? We have a bunch of time on our hands and let me put this down. So I want to talk to you about seven day candles because those are the type of candles that I like to use and these are some of the ones that I have right now that I haven't started burning yet because I already have two that's that I burn like every night. A white one and a green one so this is a multicolored one and it has like all of the colors and then this is a blue one I'm gonna start off with um, just telling you guys what the colors mean and then I'll get into how you could help to strengthen your manifestations and also how to cleanse your candles before you start using them so we're gonna start off with well green is first here so we could start off with green green is for prosperity you know the money bag. It's all about the money. <laughs> Prosperity. Yes. If you have a, a certain amount of money that you wish to be in your bank account, if you want to have a higher paying job, I would suggest using green. Green is also for fertility. And that's one thing that a lot of people don't really know. But burn your green candle for your, your money bag. And if you're trying to have somebody shoot your club up. <laughs> then we have red right here. So red is for sex passion and lust red is also a color that you can burn if you want to build your courage and build your confidence if you notice when um women wear red they are kind of like a, a bit more attractive to men because it's very bold so the color red is just something where you want to have passion you want to have lust you want to just light and ignite the fire fire and desire <laughs> And then it looks like we kind of bleed into a little bit of yellow here. And you see yellow in the back of me. Yes, I did this. This is one of my quarantine projects. I've always wanted like an accent wall. So I decided yellow and then I stenciled in. Oh, Lord Jesus, it took me 55 years. But it's so beautiful. I love it. I, I'm, I'm happy about the end result. Shout out to Beer Paint. <laughs> so yellow is... A color of persuasion if you want to persuade someone to do something yellow is also about creativity protection inspiration so if you want to feel creative if you need a little more power and a little more um to drive whatever creative endeavor that you're going to and whatever it is that you're working on then I would suggest burning a yellow a yellow candle it, and like I said it, inspiration then we have blue so it's, it's like a little lighter blue towards the end and darker blue. Blues in general, and I love blue too. That's one of my other colors. Of course, it represents the Do Chakra, and I surely love to talk. <laughs> but blue is really about mental clarity and health. Like, it really helps you to see things clearer. You know, blue helps when you are feeling down and depressed and like you see how they say the winter blues of course that's because like um the 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 days aren't as yellow and bright and sunny but a blue candle absolutely helps to clear like the brain fog it helps when you just need a pick me up so if you're suffering from you know anxiety depression some type of emotional health issues i would suggest burning a blue candle and you know just speaking to the universe or god or whatever whoever you you know talk to or, or just your inner being speak to your inner being and and bless yourself and and speak life and health into yourself while you're burning a blue dark blue or a light blue candle then we got purple purple is one of my favorite colors my favorite colors are red purple and i'm really into yellow these days and um i like blue i just i like the rainbow let's just keep it the call of spade a spade <laughs> but my absolute favorite colors are purple and red like to wear i would say like i think it looks beautiful on brown skin and yellow as well but um purple is about power and ambition 
So you know how purple, they the one of the hues of purple is called a royal purple. So it's definitely like to strengthen yourself. If you want to be more powerful, you step in to see your boss B shoes burn you a purple can't do. If you trying to be more goal oriented, if you want to be more ambitious, get your purple candle on. Okay. Last but definitely not least, white. See that white towards the bottom? White is a universal candle. You can literally use white for any and everything that you want to. Of course, you know, white signifies purity. White signifies peace as well. So if you have some issues going on, if you just want to level things out, burn you a white candle. And you could, if you don't have any of the other color candles, but you do have a white candle, you could definitely burn your white candle and just make your affirmations, make your intentions known and just do what it is that you need to do internally so that you could uh, manifest what you want to manifest. And also I want to say this, right? So there's a misconception that like when we burn candles or we do anything that's magic that is evil and it's voodoo and it's witchcraft and and i'm just like you know with uh as much research as i've been doing and and just like reading and, and gaining more knowledge and just getting closer to myself and who i feel the true essence of me is and realizing what my grandmother used to do she always burned candles and incense and she always believed in manifestation and she always believed in speaking intentions although she didn't word it like that the things that she would do let me know. Like she would have a horseshoe hanging over the door. She believed in elephants because elephants are also prosperous animals. They're supposed to, you know, help with abundance. And she would have it facing a certain way towards the door, you know. And she was always very, very lucky. Like she always played numbers. She played lotto. Like she would always hit big. I know because I used to have to go back and forth to the store 50,000 times to get scratch offs and to cash them in <laughs> and play the numbers, legal and illegal ones. But I miss her so much. And I just, you know, I aspire to be as spiritual and tuned as she is because she literally would dream fish. We all know in our communities, you dream fish, somebody then got their club shot up and a baby is on the way. Okay. So there was always these like spiritual sayings and these things that I was surrounded by growing up, but I didn't understand what it was. And she was also religious. She was also a Christian. So I didn't, I didn't get, I didn't get it. You know, like I didn't see that as being evil. I didn't see it as being anything other than like my grandma, this is what she does. It was just natural and normal for me. But then going out into the world, people would say, oh, that's evil if you do that. Oh, if you do this, this is bad. Let me tell you something. Get back to your roots, especially people with melanin, because you see a lot of people that don't have melanin that acquire the skill set. They learn it, not even through an ancestor, as I was grateful and fortunate to do because I had my grandmother, but through watching us or through, you know, watching, reading books, and they don't attribute it to being evil. They attribute it to living the best life that you can possibly live on this plane and acquire and getting the things that you want to get. Like we all deserve to live in abundance. We all deserve to live in peace. We all deserve to have the things that we want. Life is too long to not go after what you want and to and to do whatever it is that you need to do to live your best life. With that being said, the way that I bless my candles before I even burn them is another thing that my grandma taught me. I use Florida water. You can also make your own Florida water. I'm going to upload a video on how you could do that, but I purchased this one. And I use this, like I'll put it on a piece of a, just paper towel and I'll wipe the candle down. And, you know, it just helps with the energy. It cleanses the energy and it, it entraps your own personal energy. Speak whatever it is that you want to gain while you're cleaning the candle. And I also, of course, you know, like I'll, I sage it, like I smudge it. And it, it, it strips away any other previous energies of whoever may have handled the candle. And then another thing that I do is I make petitions and I put the petitions underneath the candle and with the money candle, I'll put money around it. <laughs> you know, it doesn't have to be hundred dollar bills, but I'll just put money around it. And you just have to speak life into your candle, speak life into whatever it is that you want and just leave it alone. Don't even focus too hard on it because you already put the energy out there and focus on what you want. Stop focusing on what you don't want because the universe does not decipher between I don't want this and I do want this. It's only picking up on the energy that you're putting completely into whatever it is. Whatever's on your mind, 
that's what's gonna show up in the present day whether it be something you don't want or something you do want so when you're writing your well I, I would, let me know if you guys want me to do a video on like petitions when you're writing down your petitions or when you're you know um just making your whatever it is that you want when you're trying to manifest your desires just only focus on that do not focus on what you don't want because that will show up also with that being said as far as i was talking about with like people saying it's evil it's evil if you are a human being especially an american i don't know traditions outside of america because i'm american You've been doing candle magic your whole entire life. Like the first time you ever had a birthday, your parents was in teaching you to do candle magic. They put candles in the cake, they put however many years, and then they say, make a wish and blow out the candle. So we do that every single birthday. We do it. We don't do it with the right intention all the time and we don't do it and expect it to be followed through. So make a wish. Don't burn out your candle yet. Let it burn for seven days if you're going to use a seven-day candle. You could also use smaller candles if you, you know, need it to, like, if you don't want to, like, let it burn out. But make your wish. Once it's down low, 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 blow it out. And so it is. Anyways, I love you guys. I hope that everyone is being safe, washing your hands and washing your hands. Something that you should have been doing. <laughs> Social distancing. Give me six feet. I'm going to need six feet. Back up. And just find things that, you know, that you can do to entertain yourself and, and things that's going to make you happy. And I just, I'm going to just continue to spread love and get more into things that I actually do and just share more of myself with you guys. So let me know if you wanted me to make a petition video. And if you have any questions about anything, you could leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Ooh. Stay safe. Hydrate it and sanitize.